I never thought I would be living in a tent, but um, you can only have one pet in the shelter, so that wasn't going to work for me. My dogs mean everything to me. My dogs are um, my dogs are actually my emotional support animals as well. And they're two pit bulls, Scar and Sunshine, and their brother and sister. Sunshine, um, she's just like a little, a little, a little flower. Scar, he's like a big big bulldozer slugger like whenever he wants to lay on you he just like lays on but he'll lay with me like he's my actual boyfriend in the bed he's definitely like your lookout dog whenever i was in the tent area i was living at um behind the jail i liked having my dogs there with me because it made me feel safe my dogs were protective of me because it wasn't really safe down downtown and being behind the jail there ended up being like an altercation with with the man down there and he ended up like attacking me he kept putting the knife towards me and at me and and um would threaten to cut me and he put it to like my neck and my in my abdomen area and um was like threw everything out of my tent and, and was calling my tent his tent and and told me that if i wanted to get back in the tent that i would have to have like um sexual relations with him and so I said to him what are you gonna do like rape me then and he said well that's what if that's what it's got to be it was one of the worst nights of my life down there but um he ended up uh going to jail that night but the very next day he was out of jail at 12 15 in the afternoon I knew that he wasn't like a safe person but he flipped the script so much that i was kind of like hanging out with him to, in a way to like stay safe from other people when you're down there it's like you do anything you can to stay safe it was a real test to my my courage to want to not to live but to but to drive on and to get to just get the best for myself because I could I would ask other people that were down there like how long until you think you were going to get housing and I would see that most people not most but a lot of people were just comfortable being down there and they weren't driving to get housing the more I was pushed to see how low it could be the more it pushed me to get out of there after I was trying to call around and try to look for support I came across Harmony Dog Rescue I didn't want to have to give them over you know but um but in the end I wanted to do that to be like self selfless towards my dogs because I didn't want them to get hurt or them to have that anxiety and stress I could tell that especially Sunshine was starting to get stressed out and not wanting to eat Tim said, uh, look, we're, we're, we're willing to help you and it's going to be us, um, my wife and I, that are going to take your dogs in and, and help keep them at our home. My dogs, when they met him, I could just tell that there was something in him that they knew, th that I knew they were going to be safe. I almost broke down in tears. I think I did cry, actually, because I was just in awe of how someone could be so open and, and loving towards not only, like, my dogs but of of me he would you know i could just tell he really cared for me that is what kept my heart warm and centered was knowing that i didn't have to have fear that they were going to be you know adopted out or or god forbid like put down knowing that they were going to be with such supportive people it was really the the difference i was definitely sad for a while but it was it was the work of finding housing and, and being on that journey that that was able to um, keep my mind focused. Whenever it was time to reunite, um, my friend Dee had gotten us a hotel room where it was dog friendly and we were able to pick them up and sleep in a in a hotel room for like two, two or three nights with them. And it was just great because Sunshine had um, had been wanting to be pet so long and I'm petting her and petting her that then she just gave like the hugest smile and then she just came in for like a huge hug she just leaned in and put her arm up and, and hugged me and I had never really seen her do that before you know and it was as if she just knew like I missed you Harmony Dog Rescue is the best like I truly consider um, Tim and Molly my family whenever i told them that we needed toys and stuff because we had moved and we lost we lost like all of our toys 
within like a day or two, Tim had come and picked me up and took me to the store and they bought me like all these toys for my dogs and and they they sent food to my house and every step of the way they're always there. There's not a beat that they miss. Having this home has been great. Like even now, like just even just in today, like it's really cold outside, but I have a home to be in and it's warm and like I just made a pot of coffee and I mean I have electricity and I have a shower. It just feels so great to like be able to offer a home for people to come in and and hang out and like I have a TV and you know I mean just it's it's like the simple things in life that people can take for granted.